All right. All right. So I'm here with uh Thomas Chang. Um, so we met actually at a uh meeting for stutterers, and the meeting is a it is kind of, you know, like a support group where there's, you know, many stutterers who come and they are, you know, free to speak about their stutter. They are free to speak about their goals and their ambitions. And I met Thomas, you know, the first time that I came to a stuttering meeting. Um, And, you know, we just exchanged, you know, numbers and I'm just so grateful to, you know, to, uh, you know, have you, Thomas. Yeah. Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah. My name is Thomas. I also go to, I used to go to Purdue for undergrad. Now I'm a master's here at Minnesota State Mankato University. And I, yeah, I met with, I met you through Barbara, through the NSA meetings for stuttering. Right. And yeah. It's good to be here. All right, cool. Um, uh, yeah, man. So you are on your way to become a speech uh, therapist or a speech uh, pathologist. Yeah. All right, cool, man. Um, so you are a person, you know, with a stutter. And so was your stutter, were you, you know, born, you know, with a stutter? Or was there like a certain thing that might have, you know, happened to you that caused a stutter? I think I w I'm going to say it's a bit of both. But I say I was born with it at an early age. I knew I was starting to stutter, especially when I was speaking in Mandarin to my parents. My stuttering was very severe when I spoke with them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and were you in any speech, uh, 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 you know, therapy when you know you were a kid? No, I, I would have been helpful if I did, but I never got speech therapy when I was okay. a kid. Yeah. So, does you know like anybody in your family have a stutter or a speech impediment? Not that I, not that I know of. I think it's just only me who have a, a stuttering. Okay. Yeah. Um. So you know, for for you know, like for you know, like us stutterers, um, you know, we can you know sometimes you know find it hard to you know like express ourselves. You know, there's sometimes where we want to speak to somebody and we might not have a you know great uh you know experience, and you know like I was just you know uh you know like I was just you know wondering in your you know younger days or now even if you have had any trouble with you know making friends or you know speaking to people you know because you're stutter yeah I think when I was younger especially it's in school I it gave me a lot of anxiety to talk because stuttering was very severe for me and then sometimes I felt like people didn't want to listen to what I had to say when I stutter and I felt like I was just bothering them because I was stuttering so mentally it affected me and then it going forward like my anxiety was pretty bad when I was presenting to people sometimes talking like talking to new people was also makes me feel like anxious and nervous because I don't know when I'm gonna stutter right yeah and also um you know yeah so you know there's a you know you know like as a stutterer you you know may face uh you know judgment from other people um but it also helps to have, you know, like a support, uh, you know, system if it's some friends or family. So, you know, did you have a support system and, you know, were you, you know, did you learn any, you know, like advice, I guess, from your support system? Well, for me, I'd, I'm, I'm going to say no. I didn't really have a support system. Like my parents tell me like, yeah, don't stutter, just slow down. Oh, okay. But okay. that's the only thing they told me. And then I try to do that. But, you know. It just comes, stuttering comes, you know, out of nowhere. Right. And I can't control it. Right. So I didn't really have any support. I just had to like grow up with it and then just like try to like not sometimes not speak at all or just be very quiet. Mm -hmm. yeah. It just took me a long time to, you know, pace myself and learn the, the things on my own. Right. Yeah. Good. Um. So you mentioned that you were more, uh, you know, fluent, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, like over the years. Right. Um. So what has helped you become more you know confident in terms of speaking and stuttering I think the, I for me it would have been just just the more I talk to people I think people who I'm, I'm comfortable with I know what to say and then like I know what I can say on my own on my own pace mm -hmm. but with new people when I'm meeting like I don't know what to say and then 
I get very nervous and then the story slowly comes out. Mm -hmm. I think it just depends on the situation, the environment I'm in. Right. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, so, you know, um, if, yeah, you know, for stutterers, you know, we do have days where, you know, where, you know, where, you know, we speak fine and we are in just, you know, like a happy mood. Um, but there are some times, you know, like you just said, where there are certain, you know, conditions for a stutterer that may cause a trigger and, you know, like, and, you know, like a, uh, you know, like an increase in, in, in stuttering. And so, you know, for me, you know, personally, that happens if I'm like at a party and it's, you know, and it's, you know, really loud, you know, because it's hard for me to speak. I, I, I can't speak. I can't shout because, you know, because, you know, my stutter will, you know, act up. So, you know, so, you know, is there any, you know, conditions, you know, for you? Like, is there any, any, you know, you know, you know, specific, you know, conditions? I think for me, it's like, if I, if I feel, if I'm in a place where I'm uncomfortable, like, I like to be on my own or with a group, group of small friends that I feel comfortable with that doesn't trigger my stuttering. Like, so when I'm in a party with a bunch of people that I don't know or in a a, a group meeting. I, I guess I start to get very nervous. And then when I had to like right. speak out, like, I don't know what I'm saying. And then like, I got to think. And then it's like, yeah, it, just a lot of things goes in, into my mind. And then when I, when I had to talk, I just start stuttering. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, that makes sense. You know, uh, you know, when, you know, we are not truly you know, fully, uh, you know, comfortable, we tend to stutter more. Um, so, uh, you know, for me, I, I started to, you know, to, you know, realize that, and I'm starting to, you know, to, to, uh, you know, work on it. I'm mm -hmm. trying to push myself, you know, like, you know, like out of my comfort zone, um, you know, if it's at like a store and like, I'm super nervous to talk to, you know, the cashier or something, but, I push myself anyway, you know, do you, have you, you know, like everyone does that, uh, like, ha like, is there a time where, you know, where, you know, you could think of that, you know, you were proud to, you know, push yourself out of your comfort zone. I think for me, it's like, there's two, two things. Like one of them is like every, for every stutterer is for like taking a phone call or calling someone like every stutterer hates that. Because yeah, I got yeah. nervous and then like some, if they can't hear you, it's like sometimes it's not your fault, it's connections, but it's like you feel it and you just like, so you just start to stutter. And then uh, other thing is for me, undergrad, like reaching out to professors for, you know, office hours. Like I got, I got ner very nervous because I didn't want to like, you know, bother them. Like I'm just like, you know, they have their own thing. So many students, but like when, once, I, once I was in my, beginning being in junior year I started to reach out and then that's when I was like very proud of myself because I'm like doing out of my comfort zone talking to them and actually that helped me you know with my stuttering too yeah you know great like because you know that that all makes sense and that's in you know like as a stutterer you know you it helps to push yourself you know, like out of your comfort zone, because, you know, because, you know, the more you do it, the more, you know, comfortable, you know, you will be. Um, So, yeah, you know, I, I, you know, I, you know, totally get that. Like, um, I'm actually going to share a, you know, a, 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 you know, bad experience, actually, that, you know, like I had. So, you know, like I was in college or whatever, and I was speaking to the front, you know, desk lady, actually, at, at um at you know like an office or whatever and so you know so you know like I was saying my name and everything but you know like I was stuttering you know very badly and I looked at her face and her face was like very you know judgmental face like she had like a stank face and you know and you know like at the time I felt horrible I was like oh my god like I made a fool out of myself you know she must think I'm so weird like you know, like I cannot talk, but I started to, you know, realize that I'm proud that I went through that. Like, I'm like, that, you know, like I'm proud to push, you know, myself 
you know, like, uh, you know, like out of my comfort zone, you know, like even if I had a bad experience, you are supposed to have, you know, bad experiences. They are the steps to, uh, you know, success. And so, yeah, man, you know, it's, you know, very important to, you know, push yourself, right. You know, like out of your comfort zone. And, you know, and, you know, like it could be, you know, uh, you know, hard sometimes, but like at the end of the day, you just have to be proud that you, uh, you know, push yourself. So, yeah, man. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's good to hear. I think at the moment, we always get very nervous. We're overanalyzing everything's around us, right. about everybody's behavior. Right. But at the end, like we, we feel good because, you know, we actually did it. You know? Right. Yeah, true. And also yeah. like. For, you know, like us stutterers, we are very scared. I mean, you know, for me at least, but I guess maybe I'm shy and I'm, you know, very nervous and I'm scared to be, you know, different, right? Because, you know, like as a stutterer, we, you know, we, you know, might be viewed as different or we might, you know, uh, we might, you know, think of ourselves as, you know, different from them. Um. But, like, I'm starting to realize that we are supposed to be different. Like, we are all supposed to be very, you know, unique and, you know, very different. And I think that if you have that, you know, viewpoint in your head and you have that, you know, mindset a little bit, it, you know, helps a lot if, you if you know, you have a stutter. Yeah. I think now, once I go into grad school, you know, being a stutter, I think it helps me a lot understanding when I'm working with the clients that that you do and, and when you're in the master's degree and then that really helps like helps you understand like you know you, you can kind of relate with them with every, everybody and it's actually a good feeling yeah yeah um and then also i had another question so have you met a stutterer you know like in person if it's like at a school or if it's like at a store like a restaurant I think uh, out of school, uh, mm -hmm. this year, fall semester, I was working at a school for my externship. Mm -hmm. And there was a kid who who stuttered. So, and then, yeah, we, we worked with him on the couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, so, do you have any goals or, you know, like ambitions um, when it comes to your stutter? You know? I think for me personally, like I just for me just try to live with it. I think it's most important just try to enjoy my life comfortably with being a, a person who stutters. Mm -hmm. Because you know, I'm gonna stutter for the rest of my life. Uh, right. There's you know, mm -hmm. might be times where I don't stutter for a whole day, which is good, you know. But then like there'll be days where I'm gonna stutter all the time. So I think just on the being able to live with it and just enjoy you know, every step of the way, being, being a person who stutters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and, you know, for me too, you know, uh, you know, like I have a stutter and, you know, and, you know, I have to live with the stutter, you know, it is always going to be a part of me. Um, but at the moment, you know, right now I'm starting to learn how to fully, you know, uh, uh, to fully, uh, you know, embrace it. And so, you know, like if I'm talking to somebody, I may say that, you know, like I have a stutter and, you know, and, you know, they might judge, but I've had some times where I'm talking and I say that like I have a stutter and that, you know, like I'm going to become a speech, uh, uh, you know, pathologist and I get great, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, feedback and they just are filled with, uh, compliments like, yes, you know, keep, keep, keep keep uh you know doing you keep you know focusing on your goal and i feel like the i feel like a way to live you know with your stutter is to become more and more uh, comfortable with stuttering in uh front of people so yeah yeah I think what what really helps is like finding the group of people who also stutters, like the NSA, mm -hmm. because I you know for for so long I thought I was just like a person who stutters, but I know there's other people who stutters, but you know they're not in a group. We don't have a 
huge group of people where I can talk to, who I can relate with. So just being able to join that group and then meeting you too, I think just really helps improve that, you know, my understanding of stuttering and then like embracing it more, understanding it and living, living with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, and, you know, the, and, you know, the, uh, the NSA is such a great uh, support uh, system for, for, uh, you know, people who stutter and that just helps a lot. And um, so, um, so when you were a kid, um, did you play, you know, like any sports or anything, you know, were you more into sports or were you more into art or music or something or like what was your I guess you know I guess you know hobbies hobbies uh when I was younger I like to go swimming and then golfing a little bit mm -hmm. occasionally read read some books but yeah but other than that like I wasn't really big into music or I, yeah I just want to went through the school stuff and then yeah school was kind of hard for me just yeah. participating you know, I always get report cards like, you know, he's not participating enough or he's very quiet. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Um. Has there been a time where you, you know, want to do this hobby or something or you want to do this, you know, like idea and you stop yourself because you have a stutter? Uh, Yeah, I think a part, a part of me is like, you know, when you want to try to wanna try something and then it requires to talk to other people who are who are also good at or starting off mm -hmm. I think it's hard to, for me to like talk to them and then it's like give my input because I don't know what I'm trying to say at the moment mm -hmm. and sometimes it makes it hard for me to try because sometimes I tend to like you know if I want to try something new I want to kind of get a little bit good at it or a good understanding of it before mm -hmm. I get like continue to do this hobby for long term mm -hmm. yeah 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 yeah, you know, I got you. Um, so you know, this is more of you know like a personal question. You know, uh, you know, this video, you know, uh, or you know, this, you know, uh, you know, section, you know, doesn't have to be in you know the video if 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 uh, you know, you're not comfortable. But has there like, what is your you know uh your you know uh your you know experience with us stuttering and dating? Hmm. Well, for dating, like I don't have a lot of experience in in that. In that, I only dated a couple, only once or twice. Mm -hmm. I feel like it doesn't really bother me because once you get very comfortable with a person, it just like it becomes very natural con conversate, conver conversing with other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and um, you know, you know, like I've had some, you know, experience with dating and stuttering. Um, but I had another question, dang. It was, um, yeah, so how, you know, did you make your friends, you know, like if you have a stutter, because, you know, like as a stutterer, you're, you're, you know, very nervous to talk, you're, you know, very nervous to, uh, you know, start, you know, the friendship and, you know, take the first act maybe, you know, so how did you and your friends, uh, you know, get together? I when uh you know for when I was an undergrad for at Purdue for all my whole four years, like, you know there's COVID and stuff, but like I didn't really make any friends, so it was kind of hard because I stuttered and I didn't really want to reach out to the people. So I was like, going back to school, going back to class, just staying staying in my dorm. But once I got to grad school, like everything changed. I think I started to reach out more, you know, making that connection, which is like very important once you become, you know become an SOP but like reaching out more feeling like out of my comfort zone because I know like these group of classmates are gonna are gonna be with me for the whole two years of my master's so I knew it was important for me to like build that connection with everybody mm -hmm. yeah all right um yeah man is there is there you know like any uh you know questions that you know you may have or any things that you know you just want to speak about uh, how how have you been doing with stuttering? I think in college, okay. I know this is your first, second year, or first year. This is my first year. How 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 has how has it been? Um, so I started this year. I'm a freshman. I just got done with my first uh, you know, semester. Um, so 
at first I was not, you know, comfortable at all. Like I was such in a state of, you know, nervousness because of my stutter. I would not speak, you know, to anybody. But, you know, the more and more, like I would go to class, the more, you know, comfortable I became. And I, you know, started slow. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I, I first started to speak a little bit to the person, you know, next to me. Um, and yeah, so, you know, I made some friends like that. I, you know, told them that, you know, that, you know, that, you know, like I have a stutter, that like I have a speech impediment. And, you know, there were some people that were cool about it, but then there were some people who like laugh, you know, I, I, I had a, I had to do a speech in you know front of my class and I was not even you know ready like I was just like in a bad state and I said that I stuttered and you know there were some people who were like uh you know uh, who were like uh you know laughing at me right but that you know bad experience yeah you know it you know caused me to be you know to be upset it caused me to be sad but it's a good thing that, you know, that happened because not only can you, you know, learn from that, but you become more, uh, you know, desensitized to, you know, their opinion, you know, about you. But, but uh, you know, yeah, man. So, you know, school, I, you know, started slow. I started speaking to, uh, to uh, you know, some, you know, new friends. Um, and then my next, uh, uh, you know, semester starts in uh, January. Yeah, it when that's actually very brave of you. You know, when you're presenting, and then when you present or when you meet someone new, do you always introduce yourself as like, "Yes, hello, I'm a person who stutters." Do you say that, or is it just like, just go go with the flow, depending on the situation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, so you know, so you know, that was a great question. Um. So. You know, like I tend to say that, like I have a stutter, so that you know, so that you know they know firsthand, because you know, like I've had some times where you know, like I just talk and then like I stutter, but you know the person, you know, doesn't know that like I have a speech impediment, so you know they're gonna judge me. So yeah, you know, it's it's it is you know something that I first you know first you know want to say to them, and that kind of puts a little bit of the pressure off, you know, cause you know, now I'm just thinking like, okay, yeah, you know, he or she knows that like, I have a stutter. So now like I could be more, you know, comfortable with my stutter. That's good. Yeah. Because when, when I present or when I talk to someone, I never say that, but it's huh. actually good to hear from other experiences, you know, how they make them feel. And then like, maybe I should give that a try next time I do it too. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, if you're if you're if you're if you have a speech or something, it is it is you know very helpful to first state you know real quick that you know like I have a stutter, I have a speech impediment, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, like if I get stuck on a word, it's just you know my stutter, and you know just make you know uh you know uh you know light of it, um, and you have to become a little bit like more you know confident. Uh, you know, confident in your stutter, and you just gotta keep, you know, uh, you know, working on that. And you know, the only, or well, not you know, the only way, but you know, one of the ways is to have you know bad experiences. So you know, so you know, so you know, you can learn from that and learn what to do and what you know not to do. Yeah, that's great. And how did you find out about the NSA? And then <clears throat> Um, so I did, uh, research. I, um, I was, I'm trying to think of the first time I first, uh, found out about it. So I found out about it in high school and in high school, I was like in such a horrible, um, space, you know, I, my, you know, my, you know, relationship with my stutter was horrible. And that's when I started to look for like help or like a support, uh, you know, system. And I found, you know, the NSA and um, 
so I first, you know, first, you know, learned about it in high school and, you know, that helped a lot and it, and it helps, uh, 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 you know, so much to meet people who have stutters also, you know, and that has happened before, you, you know, like I was at work actually in high school, you know, you know, like I was a buster at my, you know, first job and I met this, this new coworker who stuttered and we clicked like like that like so fast so yeah it, it 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 it's such an amazing thing you know to be able to have a support uh you know system for you know people who stutter so yeah it's great <clears throat> That's awesome because I wish I did that earlier. You know, I got introduced to the NSA from the end of my junior year. And that's when I met Barbara and then everybody else. But I think it's good to hear that you started early and then met you met so much connections and support. It's awesome. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, man, thank you, you know, and also, like, I would go on, you know, YouTube and, you know, watch people who stutter, like, you know, for me, I guess, like, you know, like, I find it, you know, very, you know, like, important to find inspiration in something, so, like, I wanted to be, like, inspired by something, and I would watch these people on, you know, YouTube who, had a stutter or who do have a stutter and they are giving these big, you know, speeches. And, you know, there's some people who, who have, you know, like a, who have, you know, like it, you know, like it, you know, like a YouTube channel about stuttering. And that has inspired me to start a YouTube channel that has, you know, like inspired me to, you know, work on, you know, myself and my stutter and my thoughts and my, you know, views. That's awesome. You know, I you know for me, it's like when I, when I think of someone's recording a video or like making a YouTube, YouTube channel about stuttering, I think that's just very awesome to do, very brave. And then, like, I think we need more people who, who stutter make YouTube videos. Yeah. Something like, even I, I can't think of myself pushing myself to do, actually do it, which is like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, you know, yeah, man. Thank you. You know, and like, you know, you know, like at first it was hard because I, because, you know, I was like, I didn't, you know, want to talk to nobody, you know, like I was in my room always, like I was like very uh, scared to stutter. Um, But I knew that if I'm going to go to college, I have to work on it because like, I, I don't want to, you know, be controlled by the stutter or so I started my YouTube channel because I want to spread awareness, right? Like I want to spread awareness about stuttering. You know, uh, you know, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that don't know uh, you know, like anything about stuttering. And I also started it for me and for, you know, like other stutterers. Um, because, you know, like as a stutterer, it's you know, like uh you know, like it could be hard to, you know, like express yourself. And this has, you know, like allowed me to, you know, like express my ideas or whatever. But, you know, like I've had some people, my friends, like they would, you know, they would, you know, make fun of my stutter and they would like put, you know, me down. Like they would be like that, you know, YouTube channel is, is, is trash, you know, like, you know, like, you know, you can't speak, you know, you stutter, whatever. And I just had to, you know, realize that people's opinions and their, you know, judgments about you has nothing to do with you. It's just how they, you know, uh, they, they, you know, view your stutter or you. It's what they have in their heart, you know. So, um, so yeah, you know, just, you know, like, you know, like a lot of judge, judge, you know, mental people will, you know, judge me or you or him or whatever because of a stutter or, you know, because of like their hair or because of like their shirt, like, but just know that, you know, you are not the problem. It's them and they are just going to uh project, you know, what they have in their heart 
and it's all hate it's all hate it's all it, it's all you know judgmental you know it's all you know so yeah Yeah, like I can't wait to see, you know, how, how much your YouTube video grows from just posting this, these videos. Like maybe you'll, you'll get to interview other people, like maybe Barbara, and you get, get her to on an interview would, would be awesome too. Oh, yeah, man. You know, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, thank you. Like, 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 you know, I have, you know, like a lot of ideas with the stuttering, uh, you know, you, uh, you know, YouTube channel and, but you know, with my channel, I want to be very, you know, like interactive with people who do stutter or with people who, you know, don't stutter. So, you know, like, you know, like, so like, you know, so, you know, my channel is not, you know, too big at the moment, but I want to be a channel that, is for the community too so yeah you know i want to have interviews with with uh with uh you know barbara i want to have interviews with people who i know who have stutters and i also want to do some interviews with people who uh you know don't stutter too so yeah you know like i have a lot of ideas i have a lot of things that i am very you know uh 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 you know uh you know uh uh you know um I have a lot of things that I'm very, you know, excited to, uh, you know, create. So, yeah, man, thank you for that. Yeah, I look forward to watching all, all, all the videos and then <sighs> watching this one. Thank you, But thank you. I think it's, yeah, you know, it's great that you're doing this for the community because, you know, we we can never get enough. We we need more, you know. I think as more people grow and then more people come in, like, we can have more people who stutters. It's an increasing population. And then I think something that people need to be aware of more I know like you know you say like people who who hate or like people who like don't understand what stuttering means you know this is one of these videos that you know we you would show them uh, make right. them it's like yeah it's okay to, to stutter you know but we have this community here and then we, we're very welcoming to everybody even if you don't stutter but this is great yeah yeah um yeah uh you know thank you and like we don't you know really learn about stuttering or you know speech impediment you know like awareness in schools or in movies or on tvs you know you know uh you know uh you know like if anything if i'm you know watching a movie or something they are actually you know making fun of you know the person who stutters you know like in the movie and you know i see that and i'm just like dang like wow like because i feel like with stuttering with you know, having a speech impediment, that is probably, you know, one of the most, you know, mocked, um, you know, disabilities that we have. Like, it is, you know, one of the most, uh, you know, made fun of, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, disability in the world. Yeah. Yeah, I, I see it too. You know, when you're watching those, you know, those funny YouTube videos and then people like, so they get very nervous and then like people, they start stuttering. Like people just mimic that. They mock, they mock it. You know, I see it everywhere. You know, it's, it's, it's very, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. And also, you know, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, think back to my, you know, inspirations, like, and, you know, there's a lot of, you know, famous people that stutter too. Like there's, uh, Joe Biden, there's, uh, you know, Samuel L. Jackson, there's, uh, Bruce Willis, like there's a bunch of people that you would never have guessed, you know, that they stuttered. And, you know, like at the end of the day with stuttering, it's, it comes down to your mind. It comes down to, you know, yourself, you know, it's okay to stutter. You know, like as long as you are saying what you, you know, want to say and you, you know, feel good about what you're saying, because I feel like in speech therapy, because, you know, like I've had speech therapy since I was a little kid, but they seem to target the stutter as a bad thing. They say that your stutter is a bad thing, that we have to fix that. That's not the problem. The problem is the negative uh you know relationship that you know you have you know with your stutter your stutter is not the problem it's just you are not you know feeling uh you know good about your your you know speaking ability yeah i think 
I, I only work with two people who stutter so far. And then like my goal with them is like not to like get rid of stuttering. That's an, you know, it's not, it's not possible. But for me, it's like, how can we live with it? How can we like make our, our life a better quality of life, you know, with stuttering? You know, that's always been my goal when, when I work with people who stutters. And then like, how do we like help them? ease through ease through you know the anxiety the nervousness help them go through you know experiences that are you know that could be bad going forward like presenting or like talking to someone new like how can we help them it's like that's what i focus on a lot yeah it's true and you know as a stutterer like we put so much uh you know pressure on you know like ourselves to speak you know perfect and in, you know, general, like we should, you know, never really, you know, uh, you, uh, you know, uh, you know, rely on, you know, validation from people because yeah, yeah. You know, he might say that, you know, that, you know, that, you know, my stutter is cool, but he, you know, might say that like, yeah, you know, my stutter is horrible. So like as a stutter, it helps a lot also to not, put so much you know power in people like true self-worth and true self uh confidence comes from you know within and i just feel like there yeah you know yeah you know there's there's some speech you know therapies that don't really uh you know teach that but yeah man yeah yeah i think i think as you know speech therapy or like the the career itself it's always growing i think you know i think the, the more we understand stuttering i think the more we can like you know pave a different way of you know helping people who stutter yeah and um and like also i just had another question um so you said that you speak uh mandarin yeah and you said that you stutter in uh mandarin yeah you know? i think i speak three languages or so mandarin spanish and english but I stutter the most when I speak Mandarin. I don't know has if it has to do with like my processing between different languages. Mm -hmm. But like when I speak Mandarin, like I'm gonna stutter a lot, like a lot more than I speak when I'm speaking English right now. Yeah, so I don't know if it's because I don't know the language fluently enough, or it's just because like I'm trying to switch languages in between conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, do you? So you speak to like your friends and your family in, you know, Mandarin. And so, you know, I just want to, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, ask about, so, you know, so, you know, you said that your family wasn't really a great, uh, support, uh, you know, system, you know, uh, you know, with your stutter and I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, wondering what are the things that, you know, they would say. I would say like there was there was like yo like slow down like like it's okay, but sometimes like when it when they say slow down, my, my in my mind's like stop just stop talking, like right. yeah so like like when I say slow down, it's like okay yeah I'll I'll slow down, but at at, at the same time like you know what I I think I'm done talking it's okay, what what I have to say is not that important, mm. so that's just just how I uh, that's how I that's how I thought of it when I was little, so when I really talked like. It was like very short. I didn't really want to finish like finish my 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 conversations. Didn't feel like it was really that important. And then like, and then like as I got older, I slowly was like, you know what? If they can't understand, it's like you know what? Forget about it. Just we can talk talk about something else. That's just my way of like, I'm done with the conversation. I'm sorry. Like I I took your time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and you know that's how I uh you know feel too you know it like like you know i i think back like i would you know say to myself that you know because i stutter then you know my voice is not important and like i would tend to self you know like isolate um but you know, I just like, you know, for me, I, you know, never had a support system that, you know, wasn't good like that, or, you know, that, you know, wasn't very, uh, you know, supportive. 
And I'm just thinking like that must be so hard to to have a stutter and and to have parents that do not really, you know, like understand it. Yeah, I I think slowly is like, it it just you know my stuttering just helped me form like who I am now. Like I'm very, now I'm very like I'm a very quiet person, very introverted. Like I only talk when I when they want me to talk. Yeah, so like it, it just like it just shaped who I am as a person now. But like I think this is something I don't know I'm getting used to. Maybe maybe more branch out more, me being more out of my comfort zone, talking to more people. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, that's a very big, you know, message that like, I want to, uh, you know, say to people who stutter that like your voice, you know, matters too. like you, like, you know, your voice matters, your, you know, your, you know, your, your you know, thoughts matter, your, you know, like ideas matter. And I just feel that, you know, that, you know, like a lot of, like a lot of stutterers put, you know, themselves down, like, we think of ourselves less like we you know we you know view ourselves you know badly and i just think that your voice you know matters and like your thoughts your actions matter like you are like you you know matter um but you know there's some you know learning that you have to do though like you have to you know, push yourself out of your comfort zone. And it helps, you know, so much to have a support system. You know, if it's a friend, if it's, you know, if it's, you know, the NSA meetings, like if it's like, you know, some friends at school or some family. So like, yeah, you know. Yeah, I think I'm slowly trying to feel feel that way. Like, I still get to the point, like, you know, I, I get very nervous. I overthink, overanalyze what people are thinking about like now like i have friends who like support me and then they're like dude it's okay just say it yeah you know it doesn't, it doesn't matter what happens mm -hmm. just say it rather than like don't do it and then like for, for our parents like they're, they're trying to be understandable too it's like you know like yeah i think having his support now his friends you know it's very helpful because you know when, when i was younger I, i'm sure like they didn't really understand why i was stuttering like this and then like they were trying their best and then what they thought was good or like just like you know slow down it's okay you know it's fine but in my mind it's like slow down it's stop talking but yeah i'm sure they were my parents were doing their best too right yeah yeah um yeah you know um you know there's some people that don't really know you know much about stuttering you know so you know they don't really know how to handle it you know um and um yeah you know um with uh you know, with stuttering, like, we are kind of scared to have a bad experience. Like, you know, we're scared of judgment. But the more we do it, you know, the more better. And we just need to realize that we are all supposed to be, you know, very different. And as a stutterer, you might not feel that you, you know, that you, you know, fit in to, you know, that crowd or to, you know, that crowd over there. But, as as you know like individuals like you know we are meant to be you know very different you know we are meant to have our uh you know quirks you know our our you know style is different our hair is different our you know face is different and you know we are meant to have all you know different you know uh 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 you know uh you know experiences and I just think that for stutterers, like, you know, we are scared of, you know, of, you know, rejection too. And I just, you know, think back to when I was in high school, like I, I was horrible. Like I wouldn't talk to my family, even like my family, like my friends, like I was never truly happy. Like I was never truly happy. Um, but, you know, like over time with, you know, baby steps, you get, you know, more and more and more confident and you and you become more, you know, comfortable with yourself. And so, yeah, you know, like I just think back to, 
you know, to, you know, those times. And it's just, you know, crazy what, you know, like a stutterer has to, you know, go through. Cause it, cause it's so much it's, 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 it, it is, you know, it is, you know, the socializing, it is like the thoughts, it's like the mindset, it is, you know, you know, uh, you know, like the stuttering itself, like there's just so much that a stutterer has to go through. But if you continue to like, you know, work on those things, you can be a, you know, a, you know, inspiration to somebody. you know, and so, yeah, you know, you know, like as a stutterer, like we, you know, go through a lot. Yeah. I think, I think, you know, you inspired me so, you know, listening to your, you know, your journey with Oh, Stutter. thank you. Yeah. I think, it's, you know, it's, it's cool to to see like how much you, you know, you've grown, you know, over time with stuttering and how, how, it, how the support has helped you and create, and then now you're doing this YouTube channel now, which is like, it's a big, big change from when you were back in high school. Like if you, if you can just tell, talk to your high school self, like, Hey, you know, I'm doing a YouTube channel now about our stuttering, you know, he would, That'll be awesome. That's that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, man, thank you. And, you know, like, I just want to say, you know, thank you for having this conversation, you know, you know, like, I know that, you know, you can be busy with school and with your, you know, personal life, but, you know, like, I just, I just want to say, you know, thank, uh, you know, thank you for this, you know, conversation and, you know, thank you for being, you know, so, uh, you know, open about your stutter and your thoughts and your, you know, experiences. And, um, You know, you know, like, is it cool if we have, you know, like a follow up, you know, and maybe like, I don't know, in, you know, like a few months, maybe like, you know, three, four, you know, five months even. Yeah, I think you know this. This is was a great, great you know experience. You know, I would I would never be in, you know I get scared just being being listening to my voice on on when I'm talking to someone else, Yeah, but same, same, same. they're great questions and and then you know it's awesome that you're doing this. You know when I got that text like hey you know I have a YouTube channel like I I want to make a video about stuttering. It's like you know I I I wanted to be in it. I was like hell yeah I want to be in it. Like this is great. Like I can't believe someone is doing it. And like, I knew, you know, I, I, you know, yeah, I'm glad to be here. And then, yeah, I look forward to the follow-up. It'd be Yeah, awesome. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, send you a text. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll see if you're, you know, free and, you know, and, you know, what you just said, you know, right there is my, is my goal. Like I want to show people that, you know, like it is okay to stutter. I want to be, you know, like an inspiration for my community. Like I, like my goal for this channel is to help people who stutter and to, you know, spread awareness. And, you know, I'm, I'm just so happy to hear that, you know, from you and, you know, that's just great. Like, yeah, man, you know, thank you so much. Yeah, like, you know, just talking to you, like, I'm really inspired by your journey, like, and then, like, I look forward to, you know, what you have in store, you know, for, you know, your future videos, and then how much you, you and then you look back to it, you know, how much the community has grown because of the video, too. Yeah, Great. man. Yeah, man. You know, thank you so much. And like, you know, and like, uh, you know, with me, like what has helped me is having, you know, having, you know, having be, having been, you know, like inspired, like having, you know, role models, like, you know, uh, you know, for me, like I'm a big fan of Kanye West, you know, and yeah, you know, like, I, you know, like I love his music. I love his songs. Like I love his style. But the one thing that I love that like, you know, like the top thing that, you know, like I love about him is that he has such a, you know, deep set of, you know, belief in himself. And that just inspired me to have that same, you know, belief in myself, you know, and that, you know, that, you know, gave me a drive, a drive to help others to truly, you know, believe in myself to start this, you know, YouTube channel and, you know, and, you know, to, and, you know, to, uh, you know, to ignore people who, you know, said to me that, you know, that, you know, my stutter is weird, you know, to the people that said that my, you know, YouTube channel was, is like whack, you know, so it, it helps, 
you know, so much to have an inspiration and a, you know, role model. Yeah, I think that's great to have a role model and it helps you boost the content <clears throat> because, you know, every, everybody who's, who, who, you know, who's on the top of the world, you know, they always get haters and, and fans. Mm -hmm. Like they don't listen to, you know, what the haters going to say. You know, they all only focus on the, the fans because they support them. Exactly. They give them the confidence to do what they love to do for yeah. Kanye's you know, the music. Yeah, which is great. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, man. Thank you. Um, you know, uh, you uh, you, uh, you know, do you have any, you know, role models or, you know, like anything that kind of helps and, you know, like inspires you? I think for me, you know, not really. Like I would I would say like my dad, you know, my dad's like he's been through a lot, you know. He's taking care of the family and then you know he's doing things that like I, I would never I would never do growing up you know working working in a different country and then and then just being so far apart from family like I, I can't I can't I don't have the confidence to be like him but like I I learn a lot from his lessons that he tells me a lot of his you know from his experience and it helps me grow as a person through his experience and then what he has learned. Yeah, man. Cool. Yeah. You know, it, it helps, you know, uh, you know, so much to have a person that you look up towards and, you know, you can, you know, learn a lot from that. Um, so, yeah, you know, I just want to say again, uh, you know, thank you for like hopping on this meeting. Um, and I will definitely, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, follow up in, you know, like a few months. So, you know, yeah, man, you know, like, I hope you, are doing, you know, great in school, great in life. And I hope that you continue to make this, you know, progress, you know, with your stutter. So yeah, man. Thank you for having me on on, on this on this video. Yes, and I look forward to the follow-up. Yeah. And then I wish you the best of luck for your next semester. I hope it goes All well. Right. Yeah. All right, Thank cool, you. man. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. All right, bro. I'll see you, man. Yeah.